Hey everyone. In this video, I want to really quickly touch on how we can look at the availability for authentication of our particular Microsoft Entra tenant. So yes, used to be an Azure AD tenant and it's still gonna see Azure AD all over the place, but I wanna focus on how we can check our particular tenant. Now, our tenant has an SLA of four nines. You can go and look at the documentation, which I have over here. And it talks about, hey, look, if it's less than four nines, there's a certain amount of service credit. And yes, they'll rename this over time. But four nines is the service credit backed SLA. But what am I actually seeing in my tenant? Well, the nice thing we can do now is if we go to the Entra portal, some over on entra.microsoft.com, if we make sure we've expanded out to show all in our menu area, what we can look at is our monitoring and health. And then what we have is this health preview right over here. So we're under monitoring and health and health preview. And what this will show is on a monthly basis, what was the actual authentication availability for each month for our tenant. And you can hover over it so you can see right now what I'm getting is five nines. But if it ever dropped below the SLA, the color of the bar would change but it's a really easy way to just go and check, well, what is that authentication availability? Now, obviously, when they shifted to four nines, a huge part of this was the changes they made to the resiliency of the tenants of the Microsoft Entra ID service. Things like the cell-based architecture, um, things like the backup authentication, the long-lived tokens with proactive refresh, all enabled them to provide better resiliency. Managed identity is a, a core thing using MSAL as part of our applications. And more and more applications can now take advantage of that backup authentication. If you go and look at the documentation, it talks through, well, hey, now things like the key clients for things like Apple Mail, um, Gmail, the Android clients, and then a whole bunch of other third-party apps can now take advantage of that backup authentication to improve that SLA and resiliency if there were some issues with the authentication service. Now, if you're ever curious, was like, have any of my authentications touched that backup auth? You can go and look at your sign-in logs. And within the sign-in logs, you can go and add a filter so right here, I'm doing my add filters. And if I add filter, what I'm looking for is this token issuer type. And then once we add that token issuer type, we'll select it and we're gonna enable this Azure AD backup auth. Now I don't expect I've got any in mine. I'm only looking at the last 24 hours, but I don't have any. But it's just interesting, you could go and look and say, hey, am I being touched by that backup auth where it has cached tokens used over the last few days that if there was some interruption to the regular um, STS giving out those tokens, it can go and issue it based on that cache. So it's one of those nice things available. But really that the key point of this was just to say, hey, if you are curious, what is the availability historically of my particular Microsoft Entry tenant? Well, now you can go and look at that health preview if it's gonna to decide to open. And I can go and look month by month what that historical number has been. Hope that was interesting. Till next video, take care.